on how to save money and not overspend on Black Friday. If you are interested in seeing this video, keep on watching. The holidays in general is approaching and this is a time where a lot of people, you know, we overspend. We tend to overspend even when they have sales. So I have written down five tips. This has helped myself. <laughs> this gives me checks and balances even with myself, you know, because we all want to save money and not overspend. That's the key. You want to find deals, but you don't want to just overspend because sometimes even, for instance, you know, when you go into like the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store, you say, oh my God, this, this is a dollar. So you just kind of over, you go, oh, this is a, this is a, this is a, this. And by the time you get up there, you got 50, 70, $80. You're like, I wasn't even intending to do that. I came in here to get maybe a couple of things. This is only a dollar, but you're saying, oh, this is only a dollar. This is only a dollar. And a dollar adds up, okay? Same thing with these sales. You see so many things that's on sale. By the time you look up, you can easily spend $500 just like that. $500 may not be a lot for some people, but it's a lot for me, okay? <laughs> I just don't care. I, I want to feel good about my purchases. You know when you go into a store and you find items that you get a really good deal on, and you're like, oh my goodness, you go walk out that store and you're feeling really accomplished, really great, and you want to tell everybody, girl, I found this for so-and-so, so-and-so, I found this. Yeah, that's what you want to do on Black Friday. Do you want to feel good about your purchases, not saying, oh my goodness, I just spent so much money, I shouldn't have spent that. Okay. So enough rambling. Let me just jump into the tips because you know I can go on and on and on and on. <laughs> Let's jump right into it. Number one, and this is in no order. This is just what came to my mind and I wrote some things down as it was coming. So tip number one is kind of go through your things and see what things you need or have a plan. Like know what you want to purchase. Even like when you go into a grocery store, know what you want to get because if you're just going up and down the aisles, you can end up with a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff that you could have waited to purchase, okay? So kind of know what you want to buy. Like if you know you want to buy a TV on sale, you want to know you want to buy some kind of light or skincare, makeup, just know what you want to purchase ahead of time. That helps you in the long run to know what you want to purchase. Number two is to write a list. See, sometimes you know when, I know what I want, but then when it when you go into these stores or you go online, you see this, this, that, ah, uh, I want all of it. No. <laughs> write you a list, okay? So you can say, okay, I got this, check this up, check this up. And sometimes you may see something that may be, you say, like, oh, but... If you have a list and you go by your checks, okay, I got this, I got this piece of furniture, I got this, oh, I got this pocketbook, I got this skincare. Know what you want, check it off your list. Checks and balance, that works for me all the time to keep myself from not going overboard, okay? And then regretting it later, because we still got Christmas. Now, a lot of these times when I buy this stuff, I buy it for Christmas. This is the time where you can really save some money. So you really want to shop smartly. You know, you really want to go in here with your list ready to check off. It keeps you in balance. Number three, this is the hard part for me, okay? <laughs> this is very hard for me. Stick to your list, okay? Because you have like a whole week or two, you no know Black Friday is coming. So in your mind, find out, okay, I want me a new pocketbook. Maybe you can go to on the coach. Which coach now, let me tell you. Coach has some great deals, I've seen it. Coach and the Coach Outlet. So anyway, just FYI, I might link it down here for you. I saw some nice things on there. Anyway, let me stop. Stick to your list. That is so hard sometimes for me because I'm not disciplined in that area. But I've been doing very well lately because I have a goal. <laughs> I have a goal. So, just stick to your list. Stick to your list. That's all I can say. Stick to your list. Tip number four is have a budget. Know how much you are planning on spending before you spend. Because sometimes you may say, I may have a list of $500, and you go over $1,000, $800. I'm like, uh, 
I've done that. And it's not fun because you're saying, I had this amount for this because you're going to do something else. You know, when you don't grow on trees, things are so much higher than they used to be nowadays, you know. So you want to really make sure you, you have a budget. Have everything planned out. That's very important to have a list of what you want and how much you want to spend total. And once that is done, that is it. If you have a mount that you want to go over, but once you go over that, don't keep saying, well, I can do this. Let me see. Uh-uh. Stick to your list. Have your amount that you may spend over this amount. But try not to. I like to shop online, okay? I don't like being out there nowadays in the hustle and bustle. That's not me. I used to do that when I was younger. I don't like to stand in lines and all. I'm not getting into a whole bunch of mess. That, you know, I just watch the news with people fighting up. I don't have time for that. I shop online. So if they say we're opening at so-and-so, I'm ready. I'm sitting right here with my list ready, okay? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, stick to your budget. Number five, last but not least, know the stores that you are already planning on shopping. If you're like me shopping online, I have certain stores that I have written down. I'm going to this one, this one, this one, this one, because this is the things that I want. Have the stores that you are planning on Going in that day that you have already checked out, they say they're going to have this sale, this da-da-da-da. Have it already planned. That's the thing. Have your stores lined up. Know what stores you're going to go in before Black Friday. It saves a lot of time and energy. And you don't have to figure out what, you know, you already know. This is going to be on sale, this is going to be on sale, this is going to be on sale. I already know these are the stores that I'm going in and that I'm shopping in today. And a lot of times out of 10, I, I, I've noticed since I've been doing this for the last few years, it has worked out so well. My husband is loving it because I buy things on sale and I'm not overspending. That's the bad thing when you're overspending. You don't have a budget. You just say, you're just going for what you know. And then you look, you're like, oh my goodness. I, didn't, I What's the rest, you know, just, this keeps you in check. This keeps you really very disciplined. Your selected stores that you will purchase your products from on Black Friday. That is all I have for you today. I hope these tips and little tricks will help you to stay balanced and disciplined. That's the thing. That is the really the key that I found out, staying disciplined. It has helped me a lot with saving money, with not, you know, overspending and splurge. Sometimes it's good to splurge, but you don't want to oversplurge. You know, like I say, make your budget, have your list, know what stores you're going to go in, and, and stick to your list. That's the thing that we have to do, and I promise you, the more you do it, the more you put yourself in the habit of doing this, the better you will become at it, and you won't overspend. Right now, this is not the time <laughs> to overspend with the way the economy is today. It really makes you feel good when you have a budget and you purchase the items that you wanted and you didn't overspend. It makes you really feel good and you feel like you've come out a winner. Okay. So anyway, guys, thank you so very much for just taking time out to watch my videos. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Peace and love until next time. For you, for you say goodbye.